What's going on, fellow fans? We are super stoked to bring you a different kind of video today. This is not a brew guide, but a cupping party, actually, is what we're doing. Um, we're here with Bold Bean and Catalyst Trade, ready to talk to you about what they've brought here today and who they are and what we're doing. And yeah, we're super stoked to have you guys. Yeah, I'm Charlie from Catalyst Trade. Uh, we're a Ethiopian American owned uh, green coffee importing company. Uh, we're working with roasters like Bold Bean who really value uh, supply chain and visibility and very high quality coffee. So we're really excited to uh, cup several different processes of coffee here and uh, chat about them. Uh, my name's Zach, I'm here from Bold Bean Coffee Roasters. Uh, we're roasting coffee down in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, our focus on roasting coffee is to really just make sure that all the origin char characteristics shine through uh, and that we're enhancing sweetness with all the coffees that we roast. So we're really excited to partner with great people like Catalyst to bring us really great coffees uh, so we can do our thing and make them shine. Chris, I'm also here with Catalyst Trade and I'm just here to have fun, nerd on some coffee flavors <laughs> and help connect everyone on this whole chain. Uh, same, I'm Erin with Bold Bean and uh, I do the wholesale side of the company and I'm just here to enjoy and, and have fun. Yeah, I mean that's what we do here at the Fellow Store in Playground, uh, which is where we are currently in San Francisco. Um, we cup coffee, we have fun, and we talk about, I mean, yeah, traceability, visibility in the industry, right? The seed to cup whole thing, the whole pipeline, right? Like bringing it from green all the way over here, roasting to maximum sweetness, and then sending it to people to drink in, at home, right? Um, I'm about it. But yeah, let's, let's get into cupping. So what did you, what have you brought for us today? Yeah, so we'll do this in two waves. Um, we have our washed coffees we'll do first. Um, we have seven of them, eight of them, um, and then we have two honeys, honey process, a red honey Sweet. and a black honey, yes. and then we have our three naturals here. Um, so we'll do it in two ways, uh, the washed first, the uh, honeys and the naturals are going to be a little bit louder flavors, so start with the washed so we can, you know, not have them blown out by the naturals. Totally, and we're separating uh, because we don't want, like, our taste to be affected, right? So we're not Absolutely. doing it all at once because that would just be overwhelming to taste buds. Yeah, yeah, and it's nice to have a clear picture of we're looking at washed coffees from different regions and now we're looking at a different process to kind of separate those. Makes sense to me. We like order in this house. Let's get into <laughs> it. Um, so I'm gonna heat everything up uh, and then we can probably grind. So first step sensory, right? We're going through and sniffing all the dry doses. Um, just seeing if we can get anything popping out first on the nose. Um, again, sensory, we wanna smell, we wanna sniff dry dose, we wanna sniff wet um, break also, and then of course taste is super important. Thank you. 
So we're changing up our cupping protocol. Um, we're slurping out of cups instead of out of spoons so we can all share the same cups. The uh, Karamo, yeah. um, that one, just like the intensity that it brings to the table. Um, I think that one of my favorite things about washed Ethiopian coffees is like the nuance that a lot of them have. They're very, um, you know, soft and delicate, and that's, I think, one of the beautiful things about it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And, like, it's like the structured nuance that I was getting to, like, yeah. just, just below the surface. Um, but, yeah, this Karamo was way expressive. Yeah. Totally, like, just blew it out of the water. Cranked Wait. it up to 11. Yeah, cranked it up to 11. No, exactly. Um, I mean, just, like, there's just this, like, peach vibe going on and even, like, this viscosity that I was feeling that was just super super compelling yeah so i feel like this is probably my bet i also really enjoyed what's this third sample here the gudeb yeah that's right this gudeb um a little bit more pulled back mm -hmm. um in profile but just still just like way expressive yeah that was another one of my favorites like really refreshing um you know delicate flavors i think um but kind of like that summertime vibe in there and yeah um something you could I don't know. I could see myself chugging that. It's really good coffee. Yeah, I could say I could absolutely. Yep. I could see myself icing the Karamo. Honestly, it's probably make for a really interesting iced um, flash iced coffee. Bring out that sweetness. Yeah. Um, that expressiveness. Yep. Sweet. So thank you so much, guys, for being here. Um, again, we have been fellow. I've been Haley um, at the storefront and playground um, here with Bold Bean and Catalyst Trade. Um, really exciting to cup all of these with you all today like thank you so much absolutely yeah. Um, yeah thank you for having us i mean all the coffees tasted beautiful so yeah. uh thanks to catalyst for getting those out here totally Pleasure. such beautiful expressive like everything just really really it was mind-blowing everything was super structured and really just super interesting and beautiful coffees for sure Excellent. great to hear yeah, we're uh, focused in Ethiopia. One of our founders is Ethiopian, uh, lives in Addis. Our team is split between Portland and Addis. And uh, so we would like really use uh, Ethiopia as a case study of how you can uh, go all the way into the supply chain, uh, have visibility, and just respect for everybody throughout the supply chain with excellent copy as well. Sure. And also just such differences uh, in flavor profile and structure from like all from the same uh, yeah. region or not region sorry it's from the same country same country yeah. different regions different processing um, yeah you can really Ethiopia has so many flavors so many so many things going on get lost in it for sure yeah I mean I definitely did get lost in this in this table today and I'm a little bit a little bit caffeinated because of it <laughs> well thank you so much for being here um, and thanks fellow fans for watching see ya